So this story I'm going to share with you might seem like a really small, insignificant, who cares kind of a thing, but this is definitely historical and this is definitely, I believe, a really awesome and exciting indication of where the future of music licensing is going. At the same time, it's a huge warning for the PROs, okay, looking at you, BMI and ASCAP, because the blockchain technology, as I've been seeing for quite a few years, is going to be disrupting much more than just money right with the block with the uh, bitcoin and all the other cryptocurrencies that are obviously taking advantage of it now the blockchain technology itself can be used in probably almost every facet of our lives and just now we're starting to figure out how to use that new technology and apply it into all of these different areas and sync licensing is certainly going to be one of those industries that it affects and perhaps i think it probably will completely disrupt so basically what happened recently was that there was the first ever music synchronization license uh, smart contract on a blockchain, okay? So all the details of the brand and, and type of blockchain is not too important, okay? You can obviously read this uh, article below if you want to. I've, I've um, uh, linked it down there. Um, but essentially, it was just sort of a... Um, um, it was one track that was licensed through a blockchain, through a smart contract or a smart sync contract, they're calling it. Maybe that's the thing that they've created here for use in a sort of conference in Florida, okay? So it's not even a TV show. It's a small little, you know, I don't know how big of a, you know, uh, conference it is. Maybe it's pretty big, but um, it's a small thing in terms of the larger scheme of what we do here in this business. But what they said here, which is, this is what's really fascinating. I really want you guys to read this part, was that um, the CEO of Dequency or Dequency, I'm not sure how they pronounce it. Our vision, our vision for Dequency is to cut out the middleman in music licensing transactions so that creators maximize earned income and get paid immediately by executing the first ever on-chain sync license transaction. We're one step closer. We made history today. So this is the part where the PROs need to notice <laughs> what they're saying. Cut out middleman in music licensing transactions so that creators maximize earned uh, income and get paid immediately. Okay, so two things there. Um, right now, our best bet, like I said, I'm really, really thankful. I'm not trying to dog on BMI or ASCAP. They've been able to allow me to create income from my music, so I'm very thankful for them. However, their system is quickly being revealed to be very outdated, to have this long nine-month period to wait for your royalties, to not really understand why you're earning the amount of royalties you're earning, having these kind of hidden algorithms so there's a lot of, you know, it's slow and it's not very transparent right now. It's the best we got. So I'm glad there's something there rather than nobody being there. But this is, to me, this feels like, once again, 1999. And the, the record labels are being made aware that there's this little website called Napster. And there's some files being shared all over the place. So the PROs are looking at the same thing right now, I think. They're looking at a technology that can completely disrupt how they've been doing business for their entire existence. So I don't think it's too late. It's definitely not too late. In fact, it's like the right time. I don't know if anybody at those PROs are looking at blockchain technology, smart contracts, any of this new stuff. But, you know, you can basically repeat history and drag your feet and not do anything about it and just say, ah, it's a bunch of, you know, this is a tiny little conference. This is a one-off thing. This is not going to grow. You know, I think we've seen through history the companies that drag their feet and don't adopt or get curious or at least about some of these new technologies. You just get left in the dust, right? And you just become obsolete and you are, you just crumble, right? In front of everybody's eyes. So I can definitely see BMI and ASCAP and PROs around the world slowly adopting a new form of this kind of stuff or basically changing their business model in some small ways to try to adopt this to make themselves more relevant in this new world because the minute that you can get a lot of uh, sync licensing producers where we can go directly to get placements and we know that our when we get a when our let's say our track airs on a show or on some online outlet we can immediately transparently see that on a blockchain somewhere. We can actually see, oh, hey, I got a placement. And I can also see exactly how much money I'm making from it and why I'm making that much money from it. And it's just much more clear and instant for me. Where do you think the musicians and producers are going to want to go, right? Are they going to want to wait nine months and have a mystery box of like, I don't know how much I'm going to make this time. Who knows, right? That's the kind of reality we've been used to. But this basically opens up the door for being a lot more in control 
And hopefully, like I said, you know, having a less uh, middleman in the middle that are taking even any cut out of your music. I don't think BMI and, and ASCAP are taking probably tons and tons off of our, they're not skimming tons off the top, but they are taking some. They have to, they have to stay in business. I think they should, please keep skimming. <laughs> I really think it's a good thing. But if you have a smart contract, you have this sort of autonomous computerized system taking care of all this stuff. Do you have to skim off as much or do you have to skim off any? I don't know. You know, it depends on how a lot of these um, new business models are going to be um, created. I, I would imagine some of them might be a sort of subscription, you know, a, maybe a very inexpensive subscription you pay to help maintain it. Others, they might just sort of, you know, take a tiny, tiny amount off the top just to run things or maybe they won't have it at all. There might be some people that just created saying, nope, nobody earns anything off of this. This is completely a non, completely non-profit thing. I don't know. We might see some interesting things coming forward. But I think for those of you that are in sync licensing and trying to get into it, this should give you some hope that there are some really exciting things happening in the space. Um, and even though there are certainly plenty of news stories about technology and AI that scares the hell out of all of us, and it's like, oh my God, are we all gonna be replaced by robots? Um, there's also a lot of promising news about the future of technology and how it relates to us in this business. So I definitely wanted to share this with you guys and let you know that I think this is the future. I don't know if this is like coming in the next year or two, or five years or 10 years, you know, who knows how long this will take to actually sort of start taking hold. But I can definitely see a large chunk of the industry starting to move into this direction. And eventually, I think no matter what happens, this is going to be the future. And now that, that might be 20, 30, 40 years, I don't know. But I think no matter what, you know, the idea of instant and decentralized smart contracts, um, carrying out a lot of this business that we've been relying on human beings to do, when you see when you can see the two where you can compare the two results and how the two operate almost everybody eventually is going to go okay yeah, yeah i want to do the smart contract thing <laughs> i want to get paid faster i want to know why i'm getting paid what i'm getting and i definitely want to cut down on the middleman taking my, a little cut off of my royalties and what i'm making so i think in the long run this is definitely where it's going to go how long that takes you know we have no idea so anyways guys just wanted to share that with you hope you find that pretty uh inspiring and interesting as i did